Lutz now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Able to slither by. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Sheldon Rankins with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a ball. The pressure too great, and he goes down once more. A.J. Klein in there again. My goodness, that is now his fourth sack tonight. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Wilson. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Time for a break. This one all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first down, Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on. Now he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Cameron Jordan in there to drop him the seventh time tonight. He's gone down. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. From the shotgun, Wilson. Losing nine yards there. And it also brings up four. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Bree's going to throw here. Looking deep downfield. And incomplete. He dropped it in the end zone fourth quarter you've got the big lead if you're coaching Charles you, you still taking shots like that downfield I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around you throw a couple of picks you could put yourself in jeopardy off the play fake to Kamara it's Breeze it's brought in right side by Ginn and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24 They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Saints on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. To throw is Breeze. And Ginn's got it. Breeze to another longtime vet. Ginn for the New Orleans first. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Breeze now on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Got it. Breeze again here on second and ten. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. I tell you, Charles, 
You play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well at hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it, on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points from me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They are down big. They have not scored a single point. I don't know. Are they so defeated at this point? You just want to get in the locker room, get the heck out of here? That is one way to approach it. Sometimes coach say, that's it, okay? It hasn't worked up. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. On second down, Wilson. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And he comes back with one complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. So here's a first and ten at the 38. One last shot for Wilson. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.